Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about application feature toggles with .NET Core and ABP. ABP brings in a lot of feature management automatically by default. It, these feature managements are implemented in the feature module. Uh, we are going to take a look at how to create a new feature, how to read a value from the feature, and then how to check whether the feature is enabled or not and then implement our feature by using feature definition provider let's get started so this is the um, to do's application which we are continuing to uh, develop we in the last video we finished the authorization so uh, the feature management is kind of similar to the authorization uh, I also wrote uh, another blog post about it. Um, you guys can check it out. I will um, I will um, put the link in the description. Um, you just create a constants, create define the feature, and then you can um, restrict the API endpoint, or you can use the feature checker to check whether the feature should be allowed or not based on the condition or value. Um, we can follow the blog post directly now. Uh, so first is to create feature constants. Uh, the best place is to do that is in uh, the contracts. Go and create a folder, features, And then um, add a class to do to do features. Um, make this a public, and we are just looking for constants. So just a couple of constants. And we can make this a static because then we can access them directly. And now we have a feature constants. Now is to create this feature definition provider. Let's create the feature definition provider. Perfect. I will copy this and then paste it here feature definition provider should be inherited using in this volo.abp.features and then the toggles string value and then the localizable string using localization perfect so what's going on here We just added a group and we are adding a feature here and this feature um, this to do dot feature is the feature name and the default value is false this is the localization string and then we have a to do sorry toggle string value type and then there is a numeric value type so this is like a free text um, but which only takes numbers uh, but this is going to be a checkbox uh, and uh, this feature max to do's per person per user has a default value as 10 so um, right now it just stores the value and we can read the value back so we are storing one boolean and one integer. Um, first, now once this is um, added, we can actually think of how to implement this feature. There are a few ways where you can restrict the feature 
or or an API for based on the feature. So you can do an attribute called require feature. That is the way I explained it in the blog post. So you can come here instead of saying authorize, you can say require feature, which will um, make sure that ah okay the 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 feature is enabled. Um, but you can also do like uh, feature because the the params is a string array. I don't know whether you can see it or not. So if I zoom over, so the the input here, this input here is a string array. So we can do something like to features dot max. So multiple features can be enabled and then we can say um, do I the the require all is true. So what we are saying is I want the feature to do enabled max to do per person enabled and both of them should be enabled for this API endpoint to work. But um, we don't have to do that. We can just take it out because right now well, we will implement an uh, other feature, maximum number of persons um, per user in some other way. Uh, so uh, we will implement the the max to dos here, so we can test um, the feature. Uh, so the feature is maximum number of to dos per user. So when you create your to do you can check what is the current uh, to do. So you can go and do something like this, take the count of the current to do's and then read the, read the feature value. So what we are doing here is we are using the feature checker. So the feature checker is injected into all the app service so it's available by default you don't have to do anything and we are looking for an integer value with the name max to do per user so when if you have uh, if if the feature is set then it will return an integer value so um, then we can check if the count is greater than max to do if it is not we can throw a business exception saying hey you cannot create more than max person per user to do's and if 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 it is less than the count then you can just go ahead and create your to do's so this way you implement your business logic uh, in whatever way you want. You can decide, uh, ah, okay, for this tenant, I want only one you only ten user ten to do per per user. So any any kind of complex logics can be achieved. Or if you have a SaaS product, you want to limit it, limit the users. Mm. It's, it's a good way to accomplish this. Um, if, you, if you go ahead and check the feature checker, I feature checker has two methods. One is is enabled or get on all. So is enabled only checks 
whether the feature is enabled or not, get or null gets the value. We used require feature to check, we used require feature for the entire application. Uh, and then we put a max to do per user. So let's run the, so we already defined it. We also put it to do So let's run the app and see what is the UI for the features. This app is launching. Okay, and you can go to, sorry, uh, you can go to tenants, manage, host tenants, we have my to-do app, and then we have to-dos, max to-dos per user. So you can disable it, and we can enable it. So now we have uh, to-dos feature available, and then we have max to do per person which is five maybe we can change it to five so any person can only create five to do's so let's go and check the swagger they first disable the to do's um, and see how the response is so I will first disable. And then I will go down to my to-dos and then try it out. See, it gives you a error saying required feature is not enabled at least one of these features must be enabled to do now we can go back and then enable to do and then do the same operation again so i have a lot of to do's already created um so but we limited the to do's creation at five so if there is more than five it should not create let's try to create a to do now we don't need an ID. New is done false and execute. Max to do per user exception. Okay, so our logic is working. So we created a feature and we implemented a constraint based on the feature and also constraint based on, um, on the count of to-dos. Um, yeah, this is how feature system works. It's fairly easy to implement. Um, and um, they, the basic UI provides a way to manage your features in a very simple way. Uh, you can create a new tenant and then all these features will be available in each and every tenant so you don't have to worry about that so i will create a new test tenant test at test.com i will create the same okay our tenant is available so here for each and every tenant um, the features are available so it will be replicated in almost all the possible tenants you create and um, it's the same way it works the same way yeah um, that's pretty much it for this video uh, let's uh, we, we can meet in another video Bye-bye.